The drummer from a 70s punk rock, uh, punk rock band called The Germs is facing drug possession charges. Now he's on trial for possession of a date rape drug. Police say the drug was contained in a bottle of soap called Dr. Bronner's. So was it soap or was it the date rape drug GHB? The Germs have been rocking for years. But last week, drummer Don Bowles took a time out courtesy the Newport Beach Police. The van was searched, the soap was found, it was allegedly tested, it was said to be GHB, I was arrested. Yep, it's a case of soap taking on germ. All the while, all the while, no, no. This is totally absurd. The president of the company that makes the soap and is paying for Bowles' defense says the product contains only organic ingredients, including olive oil and hemp oil. I think it's a, a case of driving while weird. You know, he's got this beautiful girlfriend in this kind of crazy van, and he's got a fur hat, he's total punked out. And, you know, the cop just made some assumptions. So the police said this was full of drugs. We asked the soap maker himself, Michael Bronner. Will this soap get you high? Uh, absolutely not. You've got a lot here. Which gets you high? Uh, sorry, uh, you've come to the wrong shop. Obviously, there's something wrong with this test. Yesterday, the Orange County DA agreed. Their crime lab tested the soap. The results, GBL and GHB, were not detected. All charges dropped. Why would someone put drugs in soap? You can't drink soap. So we paid, the, paid Don's bail, got him a lawyer, and ordered the drug test kits that the cops said they used. We figured that the crime lab's testing, which is much more rigorous than the, these kind of notoriously unreliable field test kits, was going to exonerate Don. We did some testing and found out that not just our soap, but all soaps in the world will make a false positive, as will a fair number of deodorants. Let's take a look at that. We have pour in whatever substance it is, I think is G GHB, uh, close this, break the ampule, and uh, if the uh, liquid turns green, like an emerald green, then it's GHB, supposedly. And uh, if it's red, then it's a negative. It's not GHB. So let's see what our soap does. Got television, got supervision, no soup for you. It's organic, it's fair trade, five generations of wisdom. So Dr. Bronner's pure GHB, baby. Tom's is, like ours, a true soap product, so we were going to test this and see what happens. There it is, pure GHB again. So, Tom's the main, right there, folks. Owned by Colgate Palm Olive now, so Colgate Palm Olive. Pangea, good guys. Real soap. Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps, you know, we're a true soap. We're talking about true soap versus fake soap. So in a true soap, what do you got going on? Basically, you're saponifying various vegetable oils. And in a good soap, what you want to do is you want to have a nice, good shot of organic saponified coconut, which gives a very nice high lather. And it's good cleansing. It's a good soap in hard water conditions. And critically, we've got some hemp oil. Hemp oil is a beautiful oil. It's, uh, it's an 18-carbon chain oil with three, like a lot of omega-3 fatty acid triple unsaturated, very emollient on the skin, makes the lather less drying, very smooth. Basically, there's nothing more elegant than a properly formulated soap. It's just the most, the most beautiful lather, it's great skin feel, great after feel. The number one thing that makes people react to cosmetics are preservatives. They're basically there to kill life. Soaps are naturally self-preserving. You don't need synthetic petroleum preservatives. So now what makes a fake soap a fake soap? It has instead detergents. There's many different kinds of detergents. There's more ecological, more uh, plant-based, and then there's pure petroleum. And then there's this whole middle range of hybrid petroleum and vegetable. So dial, we've got the primary surfactant ingredients, sodium lauryl sulfate, ammonium lauryl sulfate, decoglucoside. Okay, well, what do you got there? So sodium lauryl sulfate, that's the number one ingredient. Well, it sounds kind of natural because lauryl, lauryl, it indicates lauryl alcohol from coconut. But the ETH is the giveaway because that tells you that there's a ethylene oxide has been attached to the lower alcohol. So basically what you've got is you've got a coconut fatty acid chain with a whole bunch of ethylene oxide from petroleum attached to it. No there's no soap in here. 
not even one little bit of soap. Mm. Soft fish. Not green. Again, total negative for soap. We have no soap. There's going to be no soap in Nature's Gate liquid hand soap. Sodium C1416 olefin sulfonate. Well, that's a pure petroleum surfactant. That's not, there's not one molecule from a natural source there. No. See? No soap in Nature's Gate liquid hand soap. Nature's Gate Organics liquid hand soap has uh, no soap, which means detergent, which means no organic. You can't make detergents out of organic anything. It's petroleum and conventional vegetable feedstock. Naturally antiseptic and gentle. Sorry, EO. No soap. Any EO hand soap. Jason, pure natural and organic soap. Nah. Hmm, not one drop of soap in pure natural and organic soap. Pure natural and organic synthetic detergent based product. Real soap. Turns green. If it doesn't turn green, it just stays this orange red, then it's fake. There's no soap in any of these products. All these products that call themselves soap, pure natural and organic soap, there's no soap. It's all detergent, and that's what these prove. It's all orange. Orange and red. There's not a molecule of soap in these products. So Bronner's suggestion regarding their magic soap? You can use it for anything, uh, so except for getting high. Observations of... Maybe. Just are able to predict. We're paying a high price. I'm trying to decide which patient gets the most of this.